Sure you know yourself anyway? So this morning I wake up in a worse state than Lindsay Lohan's liver. Last night I went out for an absolute rager of a session with Liam Neeson and the boys. We started out with a few cheeky stouts with the boys in the Europa Hotel. All of a sudden the paparazzi are all over the place snapping away. The birds are absolutely loving it. I had to say, guys, guys, guys. Liam Neeson's here as well, you know. <laughs> Banter. So we're in the Merchant Hotel for the old rooftop cocktails. We've got an absolutely stunning view of the hellhole that is Belfast. Peasants, peasants, peasants. All of a sudden, Kim Kardashian danders in, and she's more steaming than the kettle in your granny's house on a Saturday afternoon. Apparently she's fallen out with Kanye West, the absolute chancer. Anyway, she's giving me the oil, come on, and I just say, join us in VIP, you two. And she's confused, she said, what do you mean, you two? And I said, you and that absolutely gigantic arse of yours. She absolutely loves the banter. She's given it that there, asking me all about my Ulster rugby career, but at this stage I'm just keeping my eyes on Liam Neeson, who's sinking the ale faster than Usain Bolt after a line of kook. Kardashian's been absolutely minus banter, and I'm bored, so I think sure I may as well put her. Sure. I go to give her a smooch, and just before I do, she whispers, Ooh, mummy, you're powerful. She's speaking West Belfast. I'm out of there quicker than a virgin to Tesco's to buy the new Call of Duty game. It's 3 a.m. Liam Neeson and I are absolutely lording it at the burger van. Kardashian danders over. I'm just trying to get a taxi back to the Gold Coast, and Neeson is absolutely tearing through a quarter pounder with cheese and a curry chip. Kardashian says, Oi, what are you two's going back to my hotel room? I turn around to Neeson and I say, Neeson, mate, Neeson, mate, looks like you're taking one for the team. 